Aboard ship, responsibility for safety extends from top management throughout the ranks of shipboard officers and seamen. It extends to vendors and subcontractors who work aboard the vessel, as well as to shipyard and office personnel. It is the owner's obligation to provide a safe work platform that is adequately equipped and manned. It's your responsibility to follow the rules and procedures that have been established for your safety and that of your crewmates and your vessel. Your ship has extensive plans and procedures in place for coping with the catastrophic emergencies that can impact a vessel at sea. Attention all hands, report to your emergency stations for abandoned ship. Report to your emergency stations for abandoned ship. While preparing for the threat of catastrophic emergency is critical, everyday workplace tasks pose a greater threat with respect to the number and frequency of accidents and injuries that occur aboard ships. Managing everyday workplace safety at sea is an enormous challenge, especially when you consider that many ships employ personnel with vastly different backgrounds in terms of language, culture, and education. The challenge requires a formal approach to managing hazards and risks. A hazard is anything that has the potential to cause harm to personnel, equipment, or the environment. Risk is the possibility that a hazard will become active and cause harm. For example, high voltage electric current is always a hazard, but we are able to put electricity safely to work because we're able to manage the risks by selecting good equipment, installing and maintaining it properly, and taking precaution when we work on electrical systems. Electricity is always a hazard, but not necessarily a risk as long as we treat it carefully. Ships are full of hazards, but that doesn't mean we allow them to cause harm. The risks associated with those hazards can be controlled through a careful program of workplace safety management. The process requires a comprehensive program of hazard identification and risk control before each work task begins. It also requires a formal chain of accountability. The best method of controlling a risk is to eliminate the hazard, but some hazards are here to stay. For example, Cold water is a hazard faced by every seaman, and since we can't eliminate it, we find other ways to protect ourselves. We use personal protective equipment for many tasks. We try to identify faulty tools or equipment units and replace them before they pose a risk to personnel. And we use guards and warning systems to steer personnel away from hazards and literally out from under risks. Each of us has to take responsibility for managing hazards. As part of the ship safety team, you should develop your hazard identification skills and be constantly on the lookout for accidents waiting to happen.